We're going to do another Dollar Tree versus brand name and it's going to be Dollar Tree versus Pottery Barn. So I want to show you that Pottery Barn is selling these Jester skeleton images, wall art, and a piece, they're $79. And for all three, they're $219. Now, while I think they're beautiful, it is not something that I'm personally going to go into Pottery Barn and want to buy because I can simply make this myself and I only spent three dollars. Three dollars. That's $216 savings. Three dollars. Like, I don't even know what else to say. I'm sure there's lots of beautiful things in Pottery Barn that I would love to go in and buy, but then there's also some things I look at and I think I can do this myself, and this is definitely one of them. And it is so incredibly simple, it really comes down to Dollar Tree picture frames and going to Google Images. And that is it in a nutshell. I will link the three images that I found below that I liked the best. I'll link them down below for you if you like them too. Otherwise, go ham on this. You don't have to do skeletons. I even researched and found some um, Morticia images from like Adam's family. So definitely Google like illustrations and you can just, the sky's the limit here for whatever goes with whatever Halloween decor you have going on. Now, if you want to do the exact replica of what I've done, be sure to take a look at those picture frames that I showed you from Walt uh, Dollar Tree right here. And you need to look for this specific picture frame. Okay, so it's got like this uh, matte border and it lets you have two different pictures in it. But I just took the frame out or the, the matte border out and yeah, so all I basically kept was a glass, and then what I did was I kept the insert of the image of the family. So you need to look for this family, if that makes any sense, because every picture frame at Dollar Tree has like a different family or a different image. So look for this family, try to find three of these frames, and you should be good to go. And then I took the insert, I grabbed my cutting tool, which I got at Hobby Lobby, and then I used the insert as a guide to measure the width and length basically but i really didn't have to cut the length i just had to cut the width so that made it even easier for me so i did use my printer to do this and it uses black ink so i just absolutely love how this turned out again i am shook to my core that any i don't know i don't understand paying 219 dollars for this to be honest uh when i just spent three dollars so that's basically it. I know I didn't get the exact same images that Pottery Barn has, but that's also the great thing is that you can customize this to literally whatever makes you happy, whatever goes with your decor, and I don't know about you, but I'd rather spend $3 versus over $200. $200. Like I I don't even know what to say about that, to be honest. But it is literally that simple. I hope that you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree versus Pottery Barn. I have more coming. More fall videos, don't you worry. I know this was Halloween, but I really wanted to get this out. I was super excited about it. So many more dupe videos, and I'm super excited for this year. I'll see you guys there. Bye.